Hello everyone, my name is Morgan, and welcome to a very unexpected Let's Play that we are going to be doing alongside Die Block Lovers, which is Dandelion Wishes brought to you! So in all honesty, I was not planning on playing this game at all. <laughs> well, I was. I wanted to play it at some point on the channel, just not yet. I was originally going to play my favorite Atome, which is Cholerix Malice, but I couldn't find an emulator for it. So, I'm just gonna have to <laughs> wait on that one a bit. But I already own Dandelion, and it is a very, very special game to me that I would just love for more people to get into. I did a video on my nine favorite games of all time, and if you watch that, this was one of them. I talked about it and how this game helped me through a really hard time in my life. It made me happy when, like, not very many things did. Yes, it's just a silly game about dating. <laughs> If you don't know, this game is about animal boys that turn into real boys. But it made me so happy, and specifically the character Jiwoo, who is this one right here. He's definitely the route we are going to be doing first. He's the reason bunnies became my favorite animal. He is like a huge comfort character to me. I love him to death. I got into this game because of the Let's Play done by Cry and Dodger. That is like, that Let's Play is the funniest Let's Play I've ever watched. Honestly, like, go watch it. <laughs> I like I'm promoting like another let's play on my own of this game, but it's so good. I've never there's like literally the funniest series on YouTube to me. I cry laughing every time I watch it. Um, I have the voices for this game turned off actually, so if you're not into that, sorry, but that's what I'm, we're doing for this because in that let's play, uh, they they had the voices turned off and they voiced the characters themselves, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. My voices are gonna be pretty heavily inspired by the ones they did because they're like the canon voices to me. They never finished the game though, so my goal is to finish it for all you guys and, you know, maybe get you all into this game because <laughs> it's quirky in the best way possible. It is such a special game. It is so different from a lot of other Atomes in many ways, especially the endings of the routes are very different from most Atomes. Also, if you're a Mystic Messenger fan, Cherits, the company that created Mystic Messenger, this is their first game, so that's fun. But I'm gonna stop rambling and, you know, let's just jump into this this like just this main menu music is so special oh my god the we've got jiwoo jisoo jian jihei jiu <laughs> very creative names uh i think we're going to do the routes in this order exactly starting with jiwoo go around the circle here uh but yeah let's let's just start this it's summer ah uh, i'm so happy i love this game i hope you guys do too i always think that girl with the pink hair looks like madoka Kaname. <laughs> Anyone else? Busan. When I first came here, everything was so unfamiliar. I've lived in Seoul for 18 years, so I was worried whether I'd be able to adapt. At first, I had a hard time understanding the dialect, and I'd often ask people to repeat themselves a number of times. The... I notice it's like kind of cut off at the top and bottom. I hope the text is like... it's not an issue. I don't think there's much I can do to fix that in the options. No, I don't really don't think there's anything I can do. It's been three and a half years since I came here, but Busan dialect, in, but Busan dialect is still hard to follow. I came to attend a college in Busan from Seoul. Sometimes people ask me why I didn't choose to attend a college in Seoul. Unlike me, there are many people in Busan who want to go to Seoul. <laughs> she says Seoul so many times. But unlike them, I no longer want to stay in Seoul. <laughs> they literally made fun of this in the Crying Dodger Let's Play. How <laughs> much she says Seoul, but dear lord, it is a lot. I couldn't st Jesus Christ! Yi Jung. That's the name of this girl. Hey, Yi Jung. I couldn't stand my life in Seoul. My mom, who had completely changed after she and dad got a divorce. It's- you see, it's kind of cut off at the bottom. I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to- I don't know if there's a way I can fix that. It's been three and a half years since I became independent from my other- from my other. Okay. But I still need the same- but I still need the same suffocating lifestyle I had in Seoul. A senior major in business. An okay TOEIC score. <laughs> yeah, TOEIC. Woo! And slightly higher than average school grades. I came to Busan to find my dream, but I still have no idea. What do I want to do in life? I came to Busan to, with that question, but still haven't been able to find an answer. Ah, oh, the beach. I've been living here for three and a half years already. Busan has, a, has its big ocean and old buildings. Though, people may be a bit rough, they are kind. And I- Oh, I know- <laughs> I know what's coming! I know what the next line is! I have five precious animals in my life that warm up my heart! Ah! <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yes, she has five precious animals. Um, I, th I think it's about to play the opening, uh, like, theme song for this game, and I'm so excited. It is so freaking good. I'm gonna let it play. Um, I don't know if it's, like, a copyrighted thing or not. Like, am I, am I gonna get in trouble for letting this play? I don't know. I might pitch it. I might, like, pitch the sound slightly to so that maybe that doesn't happen, but I really want to play it, so I'm, I'm going to. Um... But definitely go listen to it. This is the best Atome opening of all time. It's better than most anime openings. It's so good. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited for this song. It's so good. Oh my god. This game makes me so happy, guys. Yes. I can't stay. Look at that. This boy. Ah! The game has begun. What is your wish? <laughs> Who gave them the right to go this hard on a song about dating animal boys? This is Jisoo. He's a cat boy. Jihei. Here comes best boy. Best boy. Best boy Jiwoo. Best boy Jiwoo. Yes! Jian is very cute. And Jiyoon. Oh, here we go. Uh, guys, this game's so good. <laughs> it's very, I mean, it's quirky. It's definitely not the best Atomi in the world, but. I love it! Oh my god. This is just bringing me so much happiness, this song alone. We're in space now. Ooh, who's this mysterious individual? I wonder. Yet, I can't stay. Oh, it's so good! <laughs> Unfortunately, it takes far too long for these animals to turn into real boys, but we'll get there when we get there, I guess. I Okay, this is definitely going to be an issue the way it's cut off at the bottom. I opened the door and saw a familiar living room. Okay, I, I fixed it. I'm going to have to... You might notice that the crop is very different now. It's, But, you know, it's the only way I'm going to be able to see the whole screen, which I need to see. It's been four years since I moved out from my parents' house. When I came back to an empty home with no one to welcome me, I don't feel like doing anything. You know what's great, gonna be great about this Let's Play? Is that I don't have to put translations on this. This is gonna be freaking awesome! I should just have a light meal, wash up, and go to bed. My days are always busy. I wake up early to go to school and go to the art club room after class. When I come home, I clean up the house and do laundry, then I do my school assignments. And when the hectic weekdays are over, and weekend comes around, I meet up with my friends for lunch and head to English cram school. The word has become, the word busy has become a way of life for me. <laughs> Poor Hee she looks so freaking sad <laughs> with her life. Her room is very pink though. God dang. I'm busy today. <laughs> I have to go to the cram school. I have to impress the professors. I have to get an A plus in this class. I always make sure that all my school assignments are done perfectly and turn them in by the deadline. I actively participate in the school's art club. And despite my busy schedule, I make sure to invest some of my and be uh, uh. And despite my busy schedule, I make sure to invest some of my time to study English in order to raise my TOEIC score. <laughs> I don't think it's TOEIC, but I'm calling it TOEIC. Some people tell me that I live my life to the fullest. I always thank them, but hearing that doesn't really make me happy. Tomorrow should be another busy day. <laughs> This girl, Honey Jung, your, your life is just, I feel bad for her. I have a morning of full classes and I should study at the library during lunch and then class again and I'll probably go to the art club room to work on my paintings. Honestly, having been through college though, I, I relate. Dark room, the same old every day. When I lie down on my bed, many thoughts occur to me. I live such a busy life. In others' eyes, my life is probably full of activities that are usually that are useful and helpful. But why? Why do I not feel alive? Oh wow, you get to see your whole body for once. 
There are many people in Korea. That's right, this game takes place in Korea. I mean, duh, we were already talking about Busan and Seoul. <laughs> who lead a, li a, sim a life similar to mine. And there are certainly those whose lives are even busier and more stressful. But unlike me, they're proud of the fact that they're busy and, enthusiastic and, and enthusiastically plan out their lives. Oh God, it's mother. I mean, I said I was gonna like, my voices were gonna be inspired by that Let's Play. Because those are the kind of voices to me. And that Let's Play, this mother was drunk. You know what? Fuck it. It didn't even- I can't do a drunk voice. That just came out Russian. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, she's Russian. You didn't even get to the top five until your exam. <laughs> I can't do this! <laughs> fine, fine. Mom will get a, a different voice. Jeez, even though she's a drunk in my heart. You didn't even get in the top five of your class? Sending you to an expensive crime school doesn't even help you at all. Study harder. This isn't enough. If you take a break when everyone else does, you'll just end up being one of them. I don't know what your talent is at. I just don't know now. The painful memories of my past are suffocating me. I can't get rid of the cold expression on mom's face from my thoughts. Mom wore an ugly dress, you know? She really did. You're better than her just because of that. The expression, which seems to say, only your report card represents your value. Fuck that. I can, I can still vividly remember mom's face when she told me that I was no use because of my grades, because my grades weren't good enough. But still, I am living the life as I did when I was with my mom. It's not as stressful as it was in Seoul. But even when I am still le leading a busy life, I have no idea why I'm here and why I'm doing these things. I went to attend, uh, I went to attend I went to attend to a, okay typo, a college outside of Seoul and joined an art club. I have friends who aren't really friends and I struggled to get an A plus on all, all of my classes. None of these are what I wanted. In fact, I don't even know what I want, what I'm doing right now. I have no idea what I'm working so hard for. I feel like Heejung's very, a very relatable protagonist. How can I find my calling? How do I learn to enjoy what I do? No one taught me those things. Bring in the animals. Bring them in. Hello? <laughs> okay, this character... This is another character I don't think I can base off of that Let's Play their voice. Here I am. Even I think this is ridiculous. What is this voice? Ah! <laughs> ah okay, you know what? I gotta go more mysterious. Here I am. Even I think this is ridiculous. You know... What if I gave him the Mr. Mr. Gold voice for my Your Turn to Die video. That I gave away! Woo! My head is spinning! Ah, I'm getting dizzy! Please, please, Sarah, advance the dialogue. I'm getting dizzy. Ha, even I can't understand this. <laughs> I'm doing it. We can't fear. What can I free myself from you? Where's the end to these games? I, am, I have to see once again the choice that you'll make this time. I already know that you'll never choose me. It's true. <laughs> you, I I played this game and I know that I never choose you. Because you abandoned me several times already, but I still want to see you. If we meet again, perhaps you'll be interested in me. <laughs> I just imagine this is freaking Mr. Gold. Maybe you will think of me as an interesting person. My heroine. I'm waiting for you to look into my eyes and again and speak to me. <laughs> so, this is so fucking unhinged. <laughs> I'm always just a step behind you waiting. That. Thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. Here, here we go. Animals, here we go. <clears throat> this is Jisoo. Jisoo has the red text. So that's the black cat. <clears throat> Meow. <laughs> huh? What woke me up was not the alarm that was set for 7 a.m. But the sound of a cat? No way. I don't even have a cat. I must be really tired from yesterday. I remember going to bed last night without taking a shower and felt a bit grossed out. And my hair felt oily too. I should get up and take a shower. I looked at the wall to see the time. It's 6.36? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Orange Cat Geon. Huh? What was that? <laughs> there they are! I closed my eyes. And open them again. Aw, oh, so cute. Here's the best boy, Jiwoo. One day I'm going to get a bunny that looks like this and name it Jiwoo. It is going to be the best. 
Meow. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. This isn't a dream. There was a big basket next to my bed, and inside that basket... C -c cats and rabbits? What? Who? How? The animals? Who brought them into my room? <laughs> that sound effect. Boing. Wait. Wait, before that, who broke into my house? Someone must have come in to the house when I was sleeping. The windows are locked. How could someone have come in? Just the idea of someone breaking into your house just to leave a basket of animals. I scanned the room quickly, but saw no signs of intrusion. I must call the police. Ah, uh, but first the animals. No, how many of them are there? Two cats and three rabbits. A total of five. What am I supposed to do with five animals? <laughs> Keep them. Oh, no, no, I must regain my composure. I should call the police first. These animals don't belong to me. Hello, is this the police? Someone broke into my house and abandoned some animals here. Uh, yes, things that disappeared? Uh, oh, I don't think anything's stolen. Everything's left untouched and the windows are locked. <laughs> the tone of the police officer over the phone suddenly changed. Excuse me? Yes, I live alone. No, I'm the only one with the key. <laughs> the cops don't believe us. No, this isn't a prank. This isn't a prank. It's not a prank, bro. I know it sounds weird that someone broke into my house, stole nothing, and just abandoned some animals, but it's the truth. I'm not even sure what happened. I just woke up and found a basket next to my bed with five animals inside. I was telling the truth, but the officer wouldn't believe me. God dang it. If this isn't a prank, ask your neighbors or something. Well, wait! Well, real helpful, huh? I just really tried to stop the officer from hanging up. Can you at least take care of the animals? Someone definitely abandoned them. I turned to look at the animals. All five of them were staring at me. Why, why are they all looking at me like that? Because uh, they are human boys. That are animals in disguise. Yes, yes, the address is... Come to think of it, it's a bit strange that rabbits and cats are sitting together so peacefully. Are cats this well behaved? Tomorrow? The police officer told me that people from the animal shelter can't come until tomorrow. But that means I have to take care of them today. He wouldn't even believe the fact that someone had broken in. It seems that no one would come for an inch and it seems that no one would come for an investigation. Asking the police to believe me is not something I can do easily. <laughs> they won't even come to look? No, come on. I don't have the courage to plead him either. Yes, thank you, sir. <sighs> someone surely came into my house came into the house. What on earth is going on? I went over to where the basket was. <laughs> She's an animal. Ooh, okay. The big rabbit was calmly staring at me. The color of his fur is silver. Wait, silver rabbit? Is this some sort of extinct species? Little baby bun? Jiyun? The small white rabbit. <laughs> Everyone's probably like, how do you know the names when they all just start with G? <laughs> it, took, it took some time, but I know who's who now. The small white baby rabbit was sitting right next to the bigger one as if he was scared. Is that a mom and her baby? But their colors are different. The smaller rabbit was as white as snow. <gasps> Best boy, Jiwoo. Brown spotted rabbit. He seems a little different from the rest of the animals. He's different because he's the best. <laughs> he's trying to keep a distance from the rest of the animals in that small basket. He doesn't look like a Korean breed. Ji Ji Jian. Uh, the kitten with bright orange fur was looking at me with sparkling eyes. Look how sparkly his eyes are. He's so cute. He's a real cutie pie. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah! Jisoo's pose. <laughs> what is that pose? Black cat looks ill-tempered. The rest of them are cute. This cat doesn't look that cute. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> and it kept staring at me as if it had something to say. <laughs> I'm hungry. Ah! It talked! What was that? That cat just talked. Am I hearing things? No, I'm sure I heard it. Meow. I'm pretty sure I heard something. I glared at the black cat. Meow. Black cat stared back. Maybe I really am hearing things. I sighed. I must be really tired if this is the case. I should at least feed the animals. They'll be with me until tomorrow. I was surprised, but the animals are probably even more surprised. They must have felt really nervous to wake up in the morning to find that they are abandoned by their owner in an unfamiliar place. As I headed to the living room, the black cat jumped over the basket and followed me behind. The orange kitten, silver rabbit, white rabbit, and spotted rabbit followed as well. Here, eat this. I put in some bread and lettuce in a large salad bowl and put it down on the floor. I also put some cereal in a small bowl for myself. Poured milk into it. I, you know, I've played this game before and every time I 
always think that she's gonna pour the cereal for the animals. When was the last time I had a decent meal? I'm always spacing out while eating my cereals for breakfast, but the animal is perked me up this morning. Meow. <laughs> she so just keeps on meowing. Huh? What? I looked up and spotted the black cat inside the salad bowl along with the food. Did he just fall in the salad bowl while eating? Meow. <laughs> I can do this meowing in the deep voice. For Jesus, Sue is killing me. He looks so silly. Haha. -ha. I love how silly he looks. <laughs> oh no, she's going to get depressed. Ah. When was the last time I laughed like this? Daddy, daddy, I made this donut with mommy. Mommy told me the donut is pretty. Maybe I should open a donut shop when I grow up. Sure, honey. You'll do well in anything you do. <laughs> I'm not going to accept that. I really wish I could do the drunk voice on her. I, I'm not going to accept that. I can't, I can't do it. Ah, uh, by the way, what's the time? 7.40. Oh no. I'm going to be late for class. Later, animals. I, I gotta go. The hectic morning classes are all over. I can't even remember what I learned in class today. I always take perfect notes, but I never miss anything that the professor says. But I was worried about the animals at home. And I was always bothered by my messy hair and makeup, which I hurriedly put on before coming to school. I feel like I would have just taken the day off from school if this happened to me. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm, like, I was always very serious about, like, not missing classes and stuff. I hated to miss. Because I hated being behind. But I feel like this is a circumstance where I could be like, okay, I got five animals in my apartment. I got... I gotta take, take care of this. I went to the restroom to straighten up and then headed to the art club room. Hi guys. Oh, <laughs> PJ. I can't take this man seriously. He's so stupid. Hey, he John. As I opened the door and greeted everyone, a guy sitting in front of a canvas smiled at me. Ah, <sighs> oh, this guy. There's something wrong. Lies with the sign. I can't. HJ asked me with a concerned look on his face. His name is HJ Kim. He's a junior and we're in the same club and we even go to the same cram school together. HJ, are you interested in raising pets by any chance? Huh? Why do you suddenly ask? I have to get rid of the animals so I can go back to normal life. If, if you want to, just let me know. What do you like better, rabbits or cats? It's not like I don't like animals. If I have allergies, I don't think I can. HJ shook his head. Why must he have every single allergy that exists? <laughs> Screw HJ and his allergies that he can't control. Anyway, who on earth left those animals in my room? I'm already busy preparing for my graduation. But why do you ask if I wet pets all of a sudden? Someone left five animals in my house. What? Really? Yeah, they broke into my room. What? He just sprung to his feet. It already looks like he's on his feet. Is, is that even possible? No. Wait, are you alright? Yes, I called the police and people from the animal shelter will come tomorrow to pick them up. No, no. I mean, did that person steal anything or do anything to... That's the weird part. The house is fine. There's nothing stolen and no open door or windows. And you're okay too? I'm fine. Then this must be what people call the perfect crime. <laughs> Dude, that's right with this voice. He just, just sounds so ridiculous. I'm not so sure. It doesn't make any sense. It's like magic. Hmm, like magic, you say. Hmm, this should be the eighth unexplained mystery of the world. <laughs> yes. Just the seven unexplained mysteries of the world and the number eight. Five animals appear in Korean woman's apartments. By the way, what are they? Puppies? I already asked him whether he liked cats and rab cats or rabbits better, and he's like, are they puppies, huh? Three rabbits and two cats. Rabbits and cats? Together? Yeah, and they're all different. One of the rabbits is silver, and another is spotted. The third one is white, and he's still baby. He's small and cute. Silver? Is there such a thing as a silver rabbit? Maybe someone dyed it. <laughs> he's so stupid! Someone dyed the rabbit. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, EJ. You weirdo. Anyway, he's really unique. One of the cats is bright orange, and he has huge eyes and looks really cuddly. Another black, another one's black, but he's not that cute. <laughs> Poor Jisoo. She's just slandering him. I see. Wow. Anyway, who would be so heartless to throw away five animals at once? And rabbits and cats together, too. I know. There aren't many people who raise cats and rabbits together. 
So what are you gonna do with them? Stand in the animal shelter? Yeah, I can't raise them. Someone nice will adopt them, I'm sure. Who would adopt rabbits and cats? People usually prefer dogs, don't they? Come to think of it, people love rabbits and cats. I would adopt a rabbit if I could. I want one so bad, guys. Cats are usually considered a bad... Oh, uh, well, there's that. <laughs> cats are usually considered as bad luck in Korea and therefore are not as popular pets. And it's also not common for rabbits to be adopted from shelters. And if they're not adopted, don't they usually euthanize them? I heard that's the case for more than half of the abandoned animals. Look. Some of you know that reference. And if you do, you're cool. Again, go watch Cry and Dodgers Let's Play. <laughs> euthanize? But those little animals have done nothing wrong. I don't particularly like animals, but I never understood this. Um, who doesn't particularly like animals, though? <laughs> they are just put to sleep because they are abandoned? What rights do we humans have to decide that? I could feel myself getting sad. There's no justice. But you can't take care of them all by yourself. You can't help it. Just watch me, TJ. Just watch me. TJ's right. Being as busy as I already am, I don't have the time to take care of animals. I'll make the time. I graduate next semester, and I have... And I have to be ready to find employment. Anyway, I wonder who left those animals in your room. I hope someone nice adopts them out of the shelter. Really, who left those animals in my room? Probably something weird. The strange thing is that there's no sign of any intrusion in my room. One thing's for sure is that someone did indeed pick into, did, <laughs> pick into, break into, leave those animals in my room. But everything in the room was left unchanged. And since I live on the fifth floor, it's impossible for someone to come through the window. Even the door was locked properly. This is really weird. I said goodbye to TJ. Bye! And nervously went home because I could not concentrate on p painting while thinking about the animals. <laughs> yeah, you just sort of like let them loose in your house all day long. <laughs> no food out, just like... Good, let them do whatever they want. <laughs> Come tango, Jisoo. Meow. <laughs> it likes me to see the five animals wandering around the living room. What a relief. Everyone seems fine. I have to decide what to do with them or I'm not going to get anything done. Uh, it's giving me a headache. <laughs> and if they're not adopted, aren't they usually euthanized? I heard that's the case for more than half of the abandoned animals. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Again, if you get the reference of why I'm saying it exactly like that, you're the best. <laughs> Euthanasia. No, I'm sorry. Animals that are you should an, animals that are abandoned by their owners. I don't even know. I don't even know what uh might go through their minds at such a moment. Animals can't talk. Uh, this one can. Ha, you, the, all of them can. You, you heard Jisoo earlier. He's hungry. Ah, I really want to get this drunk voice right. I'm gonna keep attempting. Okay. How do I? Ugh. Why? Why are you? I can't, I can't get the drug voice! It's killing me! Why don't you say a good excuse? You better have a good excuse. <laughs> Fuck it, I can't do it. You better have a good excuse for letting your grades drop like this. You try to talk, but the other person won't listen. And the feeling of having your future decided by that person... Don't say another word. I'm transferring you to a better cram school tomorrow. I know that more than anyone else. Uh, I made up my mind and picked up the phone. Hello? I called this morning about picking up abandoned animals. My mom never once gave me the choice to choose what I want to do. She wouldn't even listen to me. I'd like to cancel that. I'm not my mom. Woo! It's June 2nd and we're <laughs> keeping the animals. And that is where I'm going to leave this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Tandy Lion, which is brought to you. Uh, this won't, I, won't, I won't let this have any effect on the Diabolic Lovers series, of course. Um, I'm going to be doing it alongside Diabolic Lovers. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I, I don't know how to put translations on this game, which is nice. I really wanted to do Caller X Malice, but we will in the future. I'll figure out somehow to do it at some point. <laughs> but for now, we're gonna have fun with this game. And I can't wait to do all the voices for it because it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> um, yes, but I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.